Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I have a Amazon haul like my usual Amazon hauls that I do on this channel. So it's going to be a very small haul compared to my other hauls that I do on Amazon. So anyway, let's get on with the video now. Also, if you are someone who is new to this channel, thank you so much for subscribing or thank you so much for checking my video out. I post about affordable makeup, fashion, skincare and all of that. And if you want to, you know, binge watch my content, if you like the content, if you like the vibe, you can hit the subscribe button and yeah let's get on with the video now so before starting the video I do want to say I know I do a lot of hauls and beauty hauls fashion hauls on this channel and I do buy a lot of makeup I know that that is because I have a YouTube channel and when you guys ask me about recommendations and all of that I do have to test out different formulas right in order for me to recommend the best to you guys so that is why I I am constantly buying and testing out different formulas uh, if I was just a regular consumer if I didn't have this YouTube channel I honestly wouldn't even have half the makeup that I have right now to be very honest so yeah that is why I think I you know I just wanted to put that out there that you don't have to go ahead and buy all the makeup products I buy I buy products only for testing out you know for my videos so anyway uh, the first product I have here is this uh, sun mate this is a uh, SPF 30 sunscreen now I got this mainly because i went to a dermat like you know i am having a little bit of texture issues so i went to the dermatologist just to you know like check up if i had any major problems he said it was for the weather so i didn't have any major problems or anything so but he did suggest me i try this sunscreen out uh so this is the sun as i said sun made sunscreen this has spf 30 in it and i tried this out like twice and i already like it so much uh the thing about the sunscreen is the formulation is quite different it feels very slippery i would say very silicone type i don't think so it has silicone but it feels you know very silicone very primal type of a sunscreen but it definitely suits my dry skin a lot uh, i a lot of the times i don't like this type of sunscreen because it starts to peel whenever i'm using any makeup or you know after two hours i look super super oily but with this one i didn't have any problem with that and also i do want to say this is the sunscreen i'm wearing underneath my foundation so you, you can you know this sunscreen uh, i think it can act as like a primer too so i didn't use any primer for today's video so i just merely just applied a little bit of the sunscreen not too much obviously because i already applied it once today in the morning while i was doing my whole uh, skincare routine so yeah i really did like the sunscreen let's see how you know how i'm going to like it in the future but till now i really did like it so the next product i got here is this inside this is the concealer now i know you guys have seen me talk about this concealer use this concealer so many times but i got the shade nc2 now i have the shade nc5 and i know that that was a little bit dark on my skin tone so that is why i got the shade nc2 now i'm going to compare both the shades and you can see if there is any difference by yourself so this is the shade beige and this suits me so well you can totally see in the video how it covers up my dark circles and it does not look i'm wearing like it does not look like i'm wearing any makeup so you can totally see how amazing like we so the next product i got here is this inside uh, this is the concealer now i already have this concealer but i got the shade nc5 in my you know earlier video i showed you guys the shade nc5 that shade was a little dark on me not much to be honest but i got the shade nc2 and this suits me so well you can totally see in the video like this is my skin tone and i absolutely love this concealer a lot you can totally see how it covers up my dark circles and honestly just using this concealer without any foundation also i love it so much you know and uh, i have used this as my whole foundation today i didn't use any foundation by the way i just used this concealer where i wanted you know to conceal like around my cheeks a little bit on my chin and that's it so i do think that you can use this as a you know like a conceal and foundation situation uh, i wouldn't recommend you use this on your entire face because then it can crease a little bit and it can be a little too much for summers so that is why i wouldn't suggest you do that but for a little bit of cover up around the face and on the eyes under eyes it is just so flawless and it was just rupees 100 so i am like super amazed by the quality of this concealer and i really want to get a darker shade too to like have a good contour and a bronzer shade but the zero two shade is beautiful on my skin 
so the next concealer i got here is uh the reason i got this concealer is because it was only rupees 99 it's almost like the inside one so that is why i got it and i was like oh my god let me just find another product that is under 100 and if this is good or not let me see that but honestly the shade you guys you have to see the shade of this concealer it is so bad it is like a gray shade it's not a pink undertone i would say it has a gray undertone and it's when I saw this, I was like, no, this is in no way going to make my eye under eyes look better. So I honestly had no hopes because of the shade. So I tried this out still. I tried this out under my eyes and you can see that it almost increased the dark circles I have. Like it looks so bad. It didn't cover up anything because obviously the shade, it's, it's not going to cover up anything. It's more so it's going to give you a little bit of shadow underneath your eyes because it has that gray undertone to it. So yeah, it was a total fail. I would say the formulation wise, just for the formulation, I do think that it was not bad to be honest, but I did not like the shade at all. Maybe I will try another shade, but this shade is so bad. Who makes a concealer that has gray undertone in it? I don't know. So that is why I did not like this at all and maybe I should try another shade. Let me know if you guys want me to try another shade. I will. If not, then I'm not going to because I'm not going to even spend my 100 rupees on this concealer. And if you are thinking if I can use this as my contour shade or not, I don't think so because to be honest, the gray undertone that this has, it's not flattering, you know. It's not going to look good underneath my, like as a bronzer or a contour situation. So, but I'll still try to use this as a contour. Maybe I like it that way. In the future, I'll still give it a try. But for now, I did not like it. And I had to go in with my inside concealer that I showed just now. I had to go in with that and cover up this concealer. And the inside concealer, as I said, works really good flawlessly. So that's how I fixed my this under eye problem that I had using this concealer. So the next product I have here is an eyeshadow from Charmacy. Now you guys know I love the Charmacy eyeshadow so much. But I got this shadow. This is like a multi-chrome. This is a different type of shadow that they have. And this one retails for 1000 Much more, a little bit more expensive than their other eyeshadows. So at first when I ordered it, I thought it was going to be a little bigger in size because like their normal eyeshadows. Wait, let me just pull that up right here. I have it right here. So this is their normal eyeshadow and this is the tiny shadow that they have. And this one is more expensive than this. This one, I think it retails for around 750, 800. This one, 1000. So I was like, oh my God, this is tiny for 1000 rupees. And I don't know if it's worth it right now. I really don't know because I applied this it looks beautiful on my eyes you can totally see that and I applied this with my fingers I really love to use these type of shadows because it's very easy to use you can just apply this with your fingers so to be very honest it doesn't look the best during like you know in daylight it's not looking the best I had to turn off my lights in order for you guys to see how the shadow is looking because this i think so it's going to be much more flattering during a night out or something like that if you are someone who goes to clubbing and if you if you are someone who goes you know like night outs and all of that i don't so i think so you're going to love it for that because in low light the shadow is going to pop out but during the daytime i don't think so this shadow is quite good for that and even if you do instagram looks maybe then it will be worth spending 1000 rupees on but if you're just a regular consumer like me i have a youtube channel but still i just whenever i'm going out i just like use normal regular eyeshadows so for me i don't know if it was worth it to be very honest i do like the other eyeshadows but for this one and for the price and for the quantity that you get and for the shadow i really cannot decide if it's worth it so the next product i have here is the l'oreal lash paradise mascara can you believe i haven't tried this out yet i know this is like the most uh, hyped up mascara it was the most hyped up mascara for a while there so i still didn't get it i don't know why i was like too hooked on with my maybelline mascara so i didn't really buy this but i use it today and honestly i cannot tell it right now because mascaras take at least one or two weeks for it to completely look good but right off the bat i did really like it if it gives me more volume than this one because i think as the time goes on it's going to give me a little bit more volume it's going to thicken up and going to give me a little bit more volume so i think i'm going to like it much more then but right now also it's not looking bad to be very honest and i really liked it like as i was applying it i was like yeah this does make my you know lashes a little bit more you know voluminous and i just i don't know i like it and 
um, I got it for around 500 so I think it was like worth it like right now I cannot say again I cannot say if this is worth it or not but so far so good so the last makeup product that I have here is this uh, Blue Heaven lip color and this is the shade I'm wearing right now. So I got the shade 311 Ruby Red. The main reason I got this red lipstick is because I think so from the swatches I think this is a very good dupe of a popular MAC lipstick. I am going to do a MAC lipstick dupe in the coming you know uh, week so if you haven't subscribed you should because I'm going to pop out like more dupes videos in the future so i think it's going to be a dupe of a mac lipstick um so that is why i got it so uh, as alone like as you can see this looks really really good on camera it's looking a little pinkish it's like you know leaning more towards pink red but in real it's more like red red you know it's like more true red in real so i really do like this a lot as well i like the formulation a lot too like i really love the formulation of these lipsticks and i think they retail for under 100 rupees so for that i really did like it a lot and i have a nude shade from this range too which i personally really love the last product i have in this haul is this l'oreal dream lens this is the no haircut cream when i saw the no haircut cream thing i was like what is a no haircut cream because i don't know what this is but i was very intrigued you know for to test it out then i came to know that this is like a live-in conditioner more so like a hair cream right after you take a shower you can apply this you can also apply this before you know going in with your straightener or styling your hair so in last amazon haul i got the arata hair cream and a lot of you guys told me that that is made because like for you know that is mainly for people who have curly hairs I don't have curly hair so I got this one instead in today's haul so I really liked it I used this only once to be very honest and uh, I think it did like help with my frizziness problem a little bit so but still I'll have to test it out and let you guys know if I like it I have heard good things about this like in the reviews Amazon reviews also I, I have seen a lot of people love this so that is why I got this and yeah I will see how this goes so yeah that was it for today's haul I actually really love the inside concealer and what else did I love I love the lipstick I loved the this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I loved all these products. I think they were quite good. And yeah, also the sunscreen. Amazing. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I know I do a lot of hauls. And if you like seeing more hauls, affordable makeup, fashion, skincare, all of that content, uh, you can find them on my channel. And yeah, uh, hopefully you subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.